Welcome everyone. In this video I just quickly want to show you how to connect the STM32 type of microcontroller to the computer and uh, make it uh, compatible with Arduino IDE. So what you can see here is uh, we have the STM32 type of microcontroller. There is a micro USB here, uh, four pins, uh, for uh, the connection to this ST link. So, and you have the uh, microcontroller chip, of course, the oscillator. There are many pins. You can solder these uh, pins into these uh, terminals and then uh, you can put it in a breadboard or something. I skip this now. And uh, you have these jumpers for the boot mode and uh, for the, let's call it regular mode. So what we have here is this ST-Link V2. It's a USB dongle with uh, 10 connections. We just use four. So basically this thing uh, operates at 3.3 volts. So that's what we connect here. We have the uh, four connections, so basically 3.3 volt uh, SWIO, uh, SWCLK, and uh, GND, so ground. And uh, this has identical pins 2, 4, 6, and 8 as the clock, the IO, the ground, and the 3.3 uh, volts uh, for the power. So we just connect the corresponding pins together and then we move to the computer. And uh, the only thing that we have to do without uh, looking at this is to switch the pins. So the upper uh, jumper should be moved to the other direction when we do something, uh, when we install the uh, bootloader. So I will show it to you. So first we will use this dongle to upload the bootloader on this. And after that, we will be able to use it uh, via USB. So we will be able to uh, make, make it available for serial communication and so on and so on. So I will uh, show you on the computer what uh, software we need to install on the computer to recognize this so we need some driver files and then we need a software which will uh, burn the bootloader on this mm, microcontroller and after that i will show you how to uh, how to communicate uh, with this microcontroller via the arduino uh, studio or arduino ID. and uh, finally we will upload the software uh, to this by using the uploader, uh, by using the bootloader, and then uh, we will see if it works or not. So now just jump to the computer. So we are here at the computer. So I just show you the softwares uh, which are needed to get this thing work. So I collected everything to a library. So. I will try to upload this to a uh, hosting uh, web page or something so you can access it but I will put the links in the description so you will be able to uh, download the most recent files. So first of all let's start with this STM32 link. What we have here is basically this software here. This is used to upload the binary files to your microcontroller so for example you can upload the bootloader we will use this to upload the bootloader and then uh, we have drivers I downloaded two type of drivers I installed everything and everything works so basically you just uh, select either this uh, bat file or this exe file here or here and uh, what you do is right click run as administrator and you install it uh, 
by following these steps of the installation. It's very straightforward. And then you go to this Arduino STM32 master, you go to the drivers, win, and then you find this uh, bat file, again right click on it and install as a administrator. You go through the process, either you uh, restart your computer or not, it doesn't matter, at least for me uh, it was working straight away. So then finally we have the bootloader file, I also refer you to the web page where you can uh, get this but uh, basically you load this file into this file here, uh, into this software so basically just open it and then uh, you connect your uh, circuit but before you connect it you have to make sure that the uh, boot zero uh, jumper is on the one uh, or in the one position and then this makes it available to upload the software so you connect it via uh, USB with the dongle now it is connected so now we loaded the file the jumper is in the one position we connected the USB dongle so we have to verify or program this so we have this program verify button we press it and we start And now it's done. So it is programmed and the first thing that you have to touch is the jumper. So you put it back to the zero position. And now you remove the USB connection. So now you can see that the software immediately detected the lack of the hardware. So we are done with the bootloader part. This was very quick and very simple. So we get rid of this software here, we get rid of this, and we have the Arduino here. So uh, what you have to in, uh, install or set up now is that you go to File, Preferences, and in the Additional Boards Manager down here, you put this link in this box. I will put this in the description so you will be able to connected and once you have this and you go to the tools and you go to the board now additionally to the let's say official Arduino boards you also have the STM32 based boards and then you select this generic STM32 F103C series so this is the, the generic series so you select it and you don't change any other parameters here but you have to make sure that the upload method should be STM32 Duino bootloader this is the software that we have just recently installed via the uh, ST-Link USB dongle and uh, this is now on the microcontroller so then this Arduino Studio or IDE will communicate with the uh, bootloader and uh, put the software on this. So we just select this and uh, here everything is done. So uh, we have this set up, we connect uh, via USB and we have this software. So what we do is that we assign the uh, board pin to this uh, so uh, to this PC13 uh, LED LED and then just another variable and then we just blink this so we mm, switch between high and low states for this LED and then we also uh, increase this uh, variable so basically we will send uh, one two three four and so on uh, every two seconds uh, to the serial terminal. So we have this and uh, we just upload this to the board so now I see that the LED is blinking so I just open the serial terminal 
and I'm just waiting for the numbers. Yeah, it's there. So it's quite easy. So now we can see at least that the uh, the software is on the uh, microcontroller and it is running. And now I just uh, make do a test. So I close this. I just removed it and reconnect it now. And we see the numbers. So the software did not get lost uh, while connecting and disconnecting and connecting it again. So it works. So my intention with this small video was that when I tried to look for uh, videos or information, it took me a lot of time. So I just wanted to put all the knowledge together into a short video. So I collected all the software, I collected all the ideas and everything that you should use. And uh, hopefully this will be useful for you to quickly make this board work with, uh, with this Arduino IDE. And of course you can use other uh, environments, but this is a very simple environment just to get uh, started with this STM32 uh, type of microcontroller. So I hope you learned something. I will put everything in the description and then uh, you can uh, learn how to use this um, at its full potential. So see you in the next video.